Hi again, welcome to the third and last part of this basic meshing video series. In this one, we will cover a demo, and where we will see that we can combine line surface and solid bodies within, within the same uh, finite element model. So here's an, an overview of the model that looks like a water tank. So the frame will be meshed with a combination of line and surface body. Uh, in more details, beam element will be used uh, using a squared hollow section and shell element for the plate will be used. As for the tank, it could have been modeled using shell element uh, because the geometry is relatively thin, but for the purpose of this example, we decide to use solid elements. So now let's open the geometry. So in a space claim, we have the geometry right here. So as you can see, the, the tank has been modeled as a solid body, whereas the frame has been modeled with line bodies uh, for the for the beam and one surface uh, body for the for the plate. Um, so now, if we take this geometry and we uh, import it inside uh, mechanical, so this is what we have here, and we can just try to uh, get um, a first mesh with the the default setting. So we just right click on mesh and uh, generate. What we can first observe is that a tetrahedron element were used to uh, to model the, the the tank and this might be okay but looking at this geometry i think that this geometry should be uh, easily meshable with x element so we'll do a quick modification inside uh, inside space claim so if we go back in space claim we have a tool right here called split body so if i click on this uh, on this tool so i need to select my body and i will split the body near the, the ribs. So by doing so, I will be able to mesh the, 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 the tank independently from the rib. And by doing so, we'll be able to generate a hexahedron element mesh. So, but first I will just recombine the three uh, body that were split because I want those three body to be a, a single one. So I will simply uh, merge the body. And then if I go back on uh, mechanical, I go on the top on geometry, I can update geometry from source. And then I will most likely need to regenerate the mesh. So I'll just let's generate the mesh again. And automatically without any uh, settings at all, the, as you can see, the tank is now modeled with hexahedron uh, element. So let's have a, a deeper look at the mesh. So let's first start. So under the, if you click on mesh, under the display style of the mesh, we can always change that to uh, element quality. And as you can see, uh, what we want to have is a mesh quality of, of one. So most of the uh, element on the plate has a good quality, but the, the one on the, on the tank, doesn't have a good quality. So there's many way to increase the mesh quality. So let's first just modify the element size. So we can control the element size here uh, under the, the global control. So I can put 500 millimeter and just regenerate the mesh. So by using 500 millimeter, so we will impose uh, an element size everywhere around the mesh. So at some specific location, if we want to have another uh, element size, we will have to use some local uh, mesh sizing. So we can see that globally, the, minimums, the, the minimum um, mesh quality was around 0.13. Now it's around 0.46. So we got a, a, great, uh, a great improvement. And at the bottom here under statistic, you will always get the uh, node and element counts. Another thing that I want to, to talk about be before we finish is under uh, geometry, if we click on the, the beam element, uh, the beam element for now, the, the model type is set to beam, but this is where you could choose between link, cable, pipe, uh, thermal fluid. So this is where you could change the element type for the, for the beam element. And also the beam element, uh, the cross section that we are using is around here. So we assume a, a rectangular tube using these dimensions. So if we change these dimensions, this will change the cross section and the moments of inertia. And as for the plate, if we click on the plate, we can directly control the, the thickness right here. And these parameters are also available inside, uh, inside space claim. 
So that's it for this uh, video. So thank you for watching and have a have a good day.